This is Chris Kell with a simple tutorial on our Phase 2 Fat Loss Program. <clears throat> Once the client has built a sufficient base of what we call work capacity and strength in month one, where we're focusing more on aerobic conditioning, um, you know, in moderate amounts of strength training, now we're moving into more of a strength phase. We're going to make the weight a little bit heavier and what we call an aerobic power phase where the intervals are going to become a bit more intense. So we're just upping the intensity here. Okay. So with that said, our first goal is strength. We want to work on the building the client strength. We're loading up exercises more in this phase. We're really just making everything a little bit harder now that they've learned kind of the patterns that we want to load up. By the same token, we're also going to move to aerobic power training. All right. And this means interval training. All right, we're going to move from anywhere from you know uh, 30 to 60 second intervals and really just progress that as the month goes along. Um, the idea here is to get the client's heart rate a little bit higher and uh, move them a little bit more intensively so we kind of get that metabolism up outside of the gym. Now moving on to our rep ranges here, all right, we've moved down to three from three sets of eight to twelve to three sets of six to eight. So once again, we're just getting a little bit heavier. Uh, we can expect to see a little bit more physical development now that we're, you know, increasing the intensity. You know, the client is able to lift heavier weight in the exercise we're working on in month one with good form. By the same token, you know, with our interval training, we're trying to get that heart rate a little higher, make things a bit more intense. Moving on to split, all right, we've moved from a total body split in month one to an upper and lower total split in month two, meaning uh, first day we're going to do upper body, second day we're going to do lower body, and then our third day we do total body. This is going to devote a bit more volume to each area in, in, in which the client can also expect a little bit more physical development, all right, so we're getting a little bit more specialized as we go along. And now here we've changed to a 1,200 calorie split for three weeks followed by one week of rebuilding the metabolism to 1500 calories. So we're getting a little more, more structured and focused in terms of what we're doing and just upping the intensity. Now moving on to their, our client's uh, workout, um, workout schedule here, okay, it's the same situation, all right? We have a uh, workout A followed by 20 to 30 minutes of jogging, okay? And the reason that we're doing jogging is because we want to uh, build a little bit of aerobic recovery into their off days. Again, because the client is doing most of their interval work with us, they don't really need to be doing interval work in their off days. We like to kind of focus all the stress on one day so the client can really recover. On day two, um, you know, they would do workout B on Wednesday. Then on day two, day two of their off day program, they would be doing what's called fasted walking followed by mobility and core. What we like to do is 30 to 45 minutes of uh, walking either first thing in the morning on a treadmill or at a time where they haven't eaten for more than three hours. The reason being is, you know, they're uh, by this point in the week, you know, they're going to have depleted carbohydrates somewhat, you know, and uh, if they don't eat beforehand, their their insulin levels are going to be low. And when blood sugar levels are low, that helps us to mobilize fat as an energy source a little bit better, right? So that's a bit helpful. And then for uh, for workout for week, I'm sorry, for Friday, we're going back to our. Uh, we're going either back to our upper body workout or we might incorporate a total body workout. Uh, for this example, we're going to uh, we're going to do upper lower upper, but uh, you know, in in some time some days we may throw in total body as well. All right, so now we've got uh, and then on uh, you know on their third off day once again we've moved back to this jogging idea. So the the schedule is similar in nature. You know, we just made small tweaks. Now moving on to their our phase two template. All right, we've moved to an upper body warm up. All right, so we've changed our drills a little bit, just kind of based upon um, the fact that we're working their upper body. We have a floor slide, an arm sweep, a tall twist, then we go into inch worm, squat to stand, and band pull backs plus band pull overs. And those are really, you know, we've got some total body drills in there, but really with that, you know, we're focusing a bit more mobility in the low, on the upper body in particular. What you'll notice about our power training circuit is that we've added an additional dead bug exercise followed by a plank hold. As the client goes along, we're going to progress them by including more core training exercises and making the core circuit more intense uh, with each phase. Again, this is a fat loss client, so this is definitely something, an area that we want to prioritize. We're still doing a medicine ball slam as well in this phase, but... <clears throat> Again, the priority becomes more so with the core training. So, you know, the, the toe tap and the pullover, that's a lower body dead bug exercise followed by an upper body, and that allows us to create a little bit more time and attention of the stomach. 
Moving on to strength circuit one, we have a one arm dumbbell row, um, a bench dumbbell press. So we've moved from the floor in month one to a bench. Again, that's going to help us get a little bit more range of motion. We follow that up with an upper body a mobility drill, a wall slide. All right, moving on, you'll also notice that we've uh, changed our categories to horizontal push, horizontal pull, vertical push, vertical pull. Once again, this is just allowing us to get a little bit more volume for the upper body so we can kind of hit, you know, vertical straight above the head and then as well um, front, front to back with our horizontal pulling and pushing. So strength circuit two, we're working on vertical pushing, a one arm overhead press, uh, and vertical pulling, a band assisted chin up. All right, for the filler exercise, we've got what's called a YTW, and that's just a core rehab exercise that we are going to utilize to kind of work those little stabilizer muscles. For conditioning, uh, we have a week one and three circuit, week two and four circuit, just as uh, you know we had in our last phase. The only difference is complete upper body exercises here. We've got two pushes and two pulls in each one, and again, the idea is just to move fast uh, and with uh, intensity. You know, you challenge the client to get as many reps as possible in a lot of time. So, you know, do as many rounds, any, as many reps of each exercise as possible uh, for 30 seconds for each exercise in week one. 45 seconds in week two, and then we move to five sets of 30 seconds in week three. So that's really going to concentrate the stress uh, and kind of up the ante as we go along. All right, now moving on to our workout B. Okay, we're moving to a lower body split. So once again, we just kind of have a bit more focus on some lower body warm up drills, you know, uh, rock back, split stance, adductor mobilization. Then we go into the Spider Man inchworm squat to stand. So those are the same, those are kind of total body there. And once again, we have a jump squat for the lower body power exercise. However, we've gone more into, we've included a couple more core training drills. So we have a plank to push up, a full dead bug, and a plank with a knee tuck. So here, uh, the focus is more on sort of being in a, what we call a prone position or a plank position versus a dead bug position, but it's still, you know, really working on the stomach. Um, we're doing these for reps as opposed to, you know, time and retention there. So three sets of eight reps in week one, 10 in week two, 12 in week three, which is increasing a little bit. You know, and then we have our strength training exercises. You know, we have a uh, knee dominant exercise followed by hip dominant here. So a front squat followed by a single leg exercise, a deadlift. So, and then we've got one more pair of those in our second circuit. We have a single leg uh, knee dominant and a double leg hip dominant. So if, you know, reverse lunge, stability ball back extension. Really the important thing here is whatever you do, we're gonna put our heaviest exercises in strength circuit one, and then easier, more easier to coach and kind of lighter exercises in circuit two when the client's a bit fatigued. Once again, for the conditioning, uh, we have lower body exercises. Uh, you know, again, 30 seconds for each exercise. Just coach the clients uh, through these. You know, go with maximal intensity and execute the off-day program. And that's a summary of our phase two.